Have you ever been someplace so normal, so ordinary, so routine? I, I was there with my daughter, and it was a pizza hut. About three years ago, this very month, my daughter and I walked hand in hand into a pizza hut. We should have seen us. We were there to get, I don't know, comfort food. We were exhausted. We've been traveling, my wife and daughter and I have been traveling, and it just seemed that the nurturing goodness of a little cheese pizza was the right thing. This pizza hut, well, is 6,000 miles away from here. We were in China. We had gone back to China three years ago to take my daughter back to the country of her birth get a chance for her to see and feel and absorb not just the culture, but to get a chance to tell her own story in her own words. And we were wet. We were emotionally and physically exhausted. So we took the chance to kind of be reloaded by the grooviness of a pizza. And if it's possible to feast we did. My wife and my daughter and I, it was glorious. We had dinner in our hotel room, and then my daughter said something that I'm sure many of you have heard. She said, I'm still hungry. And I said, okay. Another pizza? Yeah! Another pizza would be great. Let us go. So we walked back into that same pizza hut, and it was a little different. I, I, I noticed this, this pizza that had 50 foot tall glass windows, had two stories to the restaurant, and a spiral staircase. The thing I also noticed was the waitress who had helped us the first time we went and got a pizza was sprinting across the restaurant to greet us. Along with this cubby of other waitresses kind of surrounding her, charging across all the other. And they greeted us when we walked in the door. I was laughter about the fact that we were about to get another pizza, and it dawned on me, they were very excited to see us. I don't think they were excited to see me. I think they were excited to see my nine-year-old. So we ordered the pizza, the pizza was paid for, and the next thing I knew we were having to wait, but we were waiting with them. And they were all chattering and chittering, and then it stopped. And the waitress who had helped us, she said, motioning towards my daughter, she said, she from China? I said, yes, yes, as a matter of fact, she is. I said, she's from Zhuzhou. And that's exactly where we were. Well, the second I said that, all that energy and all those waitresses around us went up another notch. Their eyes got brighter, they stood up a little taller, and all of the incessant chatter going on all at the same time just even got more crazy. And then it stopped like a light switch had been thrown. And our waitress said to us, again, kind of standing on her toes and kind of leaning a little bit for emphasis, I think, she said, <clears throat> motioning towards my daughter, she said, lucky girl. <sighs> Took a breath. And I said, thank you. We came here eight years ago and became parents. And not just parents of a little girl, but we became parents of a daughter of China. So the true lucky ones are her mother and myself. 
And just as I'm saying those words, I could see in the eyes that the energy that I'd seen earlier was now emotion. There were tears. And in the back, there was a waitress who was crying. And it dawned on what was going on. That they could identify with my daughter. They could see themselves in her. It's very possible they know somebody who's been in that circumstance. So the chatter incessantly comes up again, but it's now ever the more intense and in whispers. And then it stops again. And our winter says to me, Thank you. It wasn't for the pizza. And I remember standing there with my daughter leaning against me, who was a bit of a spectator in this whole event. And I said that the blessing of being a parent comes in many ways. And clearly, she's happy, she's healthy, and indeed she's loved. But that I told them how much I appreciated them sharing this time with us. And that perhaps the distinctions and the differences, and particularly the distance in our worlds, will become much closer. Well, that's all getting translated. And then they stopped talking. And they lined up and hugged my daughter. And this all happened. Thank you very much.